I was working in the northwest of England and a friend of mine from university sent me an advert out of the Scotland on Sunday, a paper I'd never heard of. Um, and I applied. I think there were lots of Scotsmen that tried, applied and uh, one Englishman. And I ended up here and today I've been here for 18 years. A combination of things. The thing that's kept the place in business is the beer. What makes it really special for visitors, I think, is the passion that exudes from the people that are here and the pride they take in working here and just the sense of fun. So I suppose the place is known most for, for Duca's IPA, 3.8%, one of the early golden beers in the UK, and you know, it has been a fantastic success. However, um, you know, the Scottish style of beers that we brew are fantastic. Um, so we, we've brewed things like Double Amber, um, we've brewed things like Edinburgh Strong Ale, um, but we've innovated quite a lot and our limited edition monthly products have been very, very successful um, as, our, as of our seasonals. So we've probably produced in excess of 150 beers in the time that I've been here. Fine Scotsman is uh, a serious take on an English bitter. I never thought that we'd be producing an English bitter here. Um, I think if you go around the world, um, most microbreweries do produce that style of beer we feel it's something we should be doing. Why wouldn't you? Um, the fact that the place is still here is quite remarkable. I mean, I have been here less than a year when there was a major fire in 1994. There was another fire in 1998. The brewery at any time from 1919 probably should have shut because um, all the beer was going to the northeast of England. You can say it's lucky, it's fate, whatever, it's still here, but why? Like a lot of other breweries, would you rip out the heart of the Victorian brewery and replace it with nice shiny stainless steel? More efficient, um, probably easier to control, um, but actually, you know, the heart of this brewery is the coppers and the Victorian brew house. We are in a living, working uh, museum of Victorian beer. 2001 onwards, I think we've taken the place to another level. We've had several changes of ownership. But I think the sense of pride is we have kept the pride, the passion and the quality of the beer going through that. So I think we're in a better place now as a, as a brewing site um, than we've ever been in our history.